Hello everyone! Hello! Today I'm here with Rick and we're playing the playtest for Aloft, the multiplayer playtest. We've built up quite a bit of a base, so today we're going to be touring you through our base. This is our little campsite, where we have some food. And then our little workshop area, this is where all the machines are at. And connected to our glorious, powerful windmill. And then we got a house as well. With a nice little entrance area. We've placed so many objects though that the game's starting to lag quite a bit, so my apology. <laughs> uh, also on my side as well. This is our indoors workshop. With a little custom table where we saw planks in half. At least that is the idea. The research table is here, we got some shelves up with some lighting, some shelves up with random garbage. Then if we go up the little staircase here, there's this, the living room area. With a custom... What the hell happened to this thing? <laughs> Why is this plank suddenly moved? It was straight before we reloaded. Uh. Well, uh, just imagine that know. this shelf is correct and this plank is straight, because that's what it's supposed to be. One thing I might think about is maybe if we turn the island. Yeah, maybe the island's orientation messed this one up for reasons. We do have a lot of items that cause some issues. Yeah. Then this is our... I don't even know what this is, just lookout, chill area. It's where we can relax. On the outside it looks a little bit like a church. <laughs> just due to these giant windows. Yeah. I don't know what this is, just imagine it's something. It's where you store some logs as well. This hallway goes outside with another custom shelving. And there's just a jumping platform so we can easily go outside. Then that's everything on the bottom floor. We go up, we go to the bedrooms. Which have a ton of plants and a lot of green around. This here is my bedroom area. Has a little ladder that goes up into a storage area. Just a bunch of knickknack stuff. And this is Rick's bedroom. He has a lounge at the top here. <laughs> that doesn't seem to work very well with the ceiling here. And in mind here we have another seating area where we can look out over the, well, nothingness at this point. And then just another random storage location. And then there's a chair and everything up there. Just imagine that you can open the window, climb the ladder. This is a custom built ladder as well. Yeah, I quite like that. Then in here, this is a hallway that leads outside to the top balcony. With just another storage area. Because let's face it, you gotta fill up a room with something. And that is usually the easiest way to do it. This goes to the outside balcony. We got some little gardens set up. And yet another seating area where Rick is currently lounging. This one works. <laughs> yeah, this one does. That is everything around the house. Isn't very big, but the playtest wasn't for very long. Or isn't for very long, because it's still going on, of course. And we didn't have the most amount of time, sadly. Then if we go up these stairs, we have two ways of going. Go left or right. I guess we go right or left first. It's still on garden patch as well as to the main flying area of the uh, or the control area of the ship slash yeah, island where it all started as well yeah this is where it all started i'm not gonna fly the ship right now because that absolutely demolishes frame rate <laughs> when this entire island has to move every object on it i mean it's already at 20 25 ish at the moment we got 24, 23. So yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly not loving what we did here. But, you know, it's still a demo. And this even is a closed beta, so... Hopefully everything will be optimized and fixed when the game releases. Because uh, people like to build huge bases on these islands. But I can imagine that moving objects is tanking performance as well. Can this llama not try to... Hey, 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 come back! Come back! Come back! Them llama trying to escape. We got some little details stored up on these 
upper barn areas as well. Then we can go straight here, but there's honestly nothing really here. This is where we would probably expand the island to. Given more time. Yeah, if we got more time. If we go over this nicely custom-built bridge that I'll be showing you here in full detail. Just a very simple bridge. I do really like the building system in this game. It allows for so much customization. We got our pheasant place, who does not escape, even though he's the one not getting fed at all. But I guess he's, he's happy. On having wings. Yeah. And then if we move on, here's where our goats live. That are also quite happy with their living environment. And we have to crouch for here to get in. Because I built it somewhat into the floor, but I guess that is a lot nicer too. Because it looks a little smaller, which is nice for these goats. Ooh, and it turns nighttime, which is perfect. Because this is the entire island, but the island changes vibe a lot when it's nighttime. Because I really love the lighting in this game. Because if we go inside now... It does give it a bit of a uh, more comfy feel. Yeah. Just look at all these rooms when it's dark and it just gets the light from all the lamps we placed around. This room might be uh, lit up quite a bit, but it's also where we get the highest frame drop. So I feel like there is a, you know, there's a correspondence between lights and the lag. Have you guys had any creative islands on Aloft? Multiplayer or just a regular demo? Uh, tweet some pictures at me because I would love to see what you guys created. So Rick, do you want to move that island and then I'll move this island? You sure you want to move this island? If it crashes, it will be even funnier. Uh, you have been warned in case of... <laughs> A recording funny enough does not seem to tank my frames any farther. Which makes sense, because it's... Aloft is not using up all my PC power, so whatever the heck it's doing, it's in-engine that it's doing. Oh, oh. I see it too. <laughs> there we go. Can we get under 10 frames? Oh, I see 9, I see 9. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. I think if I go into... Oh my goodness, this is so choppy. I got eight. I'm going to go into the house. Can I move it, this oh. island up with mine? Or Oh, oh no. man. When they gave me permission to record this video, this is probably not what they hoped to see. <laughs> Seven frames? Come on, I want to get like a full on. No, I think this is it. Oh my god, I'm getting sick of it. <laughs> I get motion sickness from this, and I usually never get motion sickness, so I'm gonna just stop right here. <laughs> I'm not at 7, I'm at, well, not much better, but I'm at 13. Okay, I stopped the island. I don't think this has anything to do with multiplayer, in sp like, specifically, this lag. This is just, we built way too much, and now we're trying to move two islands. There's, like, so much that the game has to calculate at the moment. I was being stopped by this tiny, uh, windmill. <laughs> the strongest windmill ever you know we dutch people we know how to engineer things a dam holds back water a windmill holds back a giant floating rock we're covered on all fronts space no problem ocean no problem we conquer everything <laughs> that we do with that being said this is our island in the aloft multiplayer playtest hope you all enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one bye everyone Bye.